Hello friends welcome to the series on transformation of sentences in this video we will learn how to convert a simple sentence into a complex sentence first we will learn how a simple sentence is formed and how a complex sentence is formed then we will look into the steps to convert a simple sentence into a complex sentence without changing the meaning of the sentence Finally you will understand it with examples and i will give you an exercise to practice so without further ado let's get started let's first learn the formation of simple and complex sentences what is a simple sentence made of a simple sentence has only one independent clause this means it has only one subject and one predicate and it will have a complete meaning by itself however it may contain only one idea or thought or more than one idea or thought for example he is very weak here there is only one idea however look into this sentence he is too weak to run fast here there are two ideas one is he is very weak and the second is to run fast which is linked to the first idea now let's learn what is a complex sentence made of it is made of one independent clause and one or more dependent clause the independent and dependent clauses are joined with a subordinating conjunction let me write this sentence that he cannot run fast here this sentence is having a subject he and verb run and it is also having a meaning however we feel that the complete sense or meaning is not there so it's a dependent clause now look at this sentence he is so weak here he is the subject and is is the verb this sentence is giving a complete meaning by itself so it's called an independent clause now let's combine these two clauses and the final sentence is he is so weak that he cannot run fast here there is one independent clause and one dependent clause and it is joined by subordinating conjunction so that so to form a complex sentence you would require an appropriate subordinating conjunctions you might be wondering what are all the subordinating conjunctions that you must remember so let me share with you all the most important subordinating conjunctions i will list down the first letter of each conjunction in the left hand side and all the related conjunctions in the right hand side of the table o only if once n now that a after although as as long as as much as as soon as as though w where wherever when whenever whether while which whether or not whoever whereas y h how i in case if in order that t though then that e even though even if b before because u until unless s since so that so this is the list of conjunctions there are too many conjunctions right but let me give you a trick to remember all of them i have just picked the first letter of all of them and made this phrase on a white bus so just remember this phrase on a white bus and you will surely remember all the conjunctions if you do a lot of practice now if you remember we looked into this example of the simple sentence he is too weak to run fast and for the complex sentence the example was he is so weak that he cannot run fast if you notice closely the meaning of both the sentences is identical this is called the transformation of a simple sentence into a complex sentence without changing the meaning now let's learn the three step formula to convert a simple sentence into a complex sentence the steps are number 1 identify the main idea and other ideas given in the simple sentence number 
convert the second idea into an independent clause and number 3 add appropriate subordinating conjunction to the clause to make it a dependent clause and form the sentence with some of the changes if required the simple way to understand the steps is that you need to expand a word or a phrase into a dependent clause so this is the three step formula let's understand it with an example he confessed his crime step 1 identify the main idea and other ideas given in the simple sentence here he confessed is the main idea and his crime is the second idea step 2 convert the second idea into an independent clause here we have converted the phrase his crime to a clause he is criminal and step 3 it is to add the most appropriate subordinating conjunction so here i have used that as the conjunction so the final sentence is he confessed that he is a criminal observe these steps carefully let's look into next example i will tell you about his birth place step 1 here the main idea is i will tell you and the secondary idea is his birth place step 2 we are converting the secondary thought his birth place into an independent clause he was born step 3 we are using the conjunction where here so the final sentence is i will tell you where he was born let's look into next example this is my home now this is an interesting sentence it seems that there is only one idea and we won't be able to convert it into a complex sentence however when you break it you will get some more clarity let's try it step 1 the main idea is this is a home and the secondary idea is this is my home step 2 is to form an independent clause using the second idea here we can ask ourselves what is the use of home we live there right so we can write the second clause as i live so we have now an independent clause step 3 is to join them with an appropriate conjunction here i have used where so the final sentence is this is the home where i live i hope now you are clear on the steps i would be giving you some more examples without explaining the steps in detail simple sentence i was the first to hear the news converting it into complex sentence it becomes i was the first who heard the news please note here who is also acting as a subject of the dependent clause let's look into next example being quite contented he never complained converting it into a complex sentence it becomes since he was quite contented he never complained here since is the subordinating conjunction with your permission i will go away converting it into complex sentence it becomes if you permit i will go away in spite of the heat they marched quickly converting it into a complex sentence it becomes though it was hot they marched quickly here though is the subordinating conjunction i hope now you will be able to convert a simple sentence into a complex sentence now let me give you an exercise to practice here you need to convert a simple sentence to complex the sentences are he hoped to win the prize due to his ill health he has resigned this is my office hints are also given to solve this questions pause the video solve and message the answers in the comment for correct answers please check the description of the video that's all in this video let's quickly revise what we learned in this lesson first we looked into the formation of simple and complex sentences what is a simple sentence made of it is made of one independent clause and it conveys one thought or more than one thought what is a complex sentence made of it is made of one independent clause and one or more dependent clause and the independent and dependent clauses are joined with a subordinating conjunction this is the list of subordinating conjunction and to remember this list remember this phrase on a white bus
Next we learn the three steps to convert a simple sentence into a complex sentence. The steps are number 1 identify the main idea and other ideas given in the simple sentence. Number 2 convert the second idea into an independent clause. And number 3 add appropriate subordinating conjunction to the clause to make it a dependent clause and form the sentence with some necessary changes. Next we looked into examples to understand these steps clearly. Finally I gave you an exercise to practice whose answers you will be giving me in the comment section. That's all in this video. We will be continuing this series. Thanks a lot for watching. Like share comment and subscribe in case you found the video helpful. All the best for your upcoming exams. We will meet in the next video. Till then. Goodbye.